The left of politics is like a snake eating its tail at the moment. The immigration debate has exploded internally. With the national interests in play here, the jobs and prosperity of Australian workers, the Labor Party is playing weird word games with confected outrage about xenophobia and dog whistling. This stuff is so bad, so far removed from the concerns of mainstream voters that I'm going to have to do something I don't do often. I'm going to defend my former Sky News colleague, Christina Keneally. She's Labor's Home Affairs and Immigration spokesperson, an immigrant herself, and she's dared to suggest that coming out of the coronavirus economic doldrums, Australia might need a lower immigration intake. Writing for the nine newspapers on the weekend, Keneally said, our economic recovery must help all Australians get back on their feet. And to do that, we need a migration program that puts Australian workers first. Most mainstream voters would just nod their heads at that. It's just common sense. But apparently we now live in a world where any talk about controlling immigration and putting Australian workers first triggers talk of xenophobia. Keneally's Labor colleague, Anne Alley, told The Australian, we've got a history in Australia of talking about immigration in relation to the wogs have got all the houses. They're going to take our jobs. We're going to be invaded. There is overcrowding. And to blame all that on immigration, said Ali. We need to stop that, said the West Australian Labor MP. Well, yeah, only Keneally didn't say any of that. Nothing like that. She said, let's reduce immigration rates, especially temporary workers, and try to get Australians into work first. Yet the Australians columnist, my colleague there, former Young Labor leader Troy Brampston, wrote this. Brampston quoted Keneally, writing, we must make sure Australians get a fair go and a first go at jobs. This was in the Sun-Herald. And then Brampston wrote, this language is loaded with ignorance and prejudice. Say what? Giving Australians a fair go and a first go at jobs is prejudiced? This, I'll remind you, is an outfit that calls itself the Australian Labor Party. And some of them go wobbly when anyone talks about Australian Labor. This stuff is getting absurd. Fortunately for Keneally, fellow immigrant Senator Penny Wong of Labor's left had her flank. So Christina Keneally was making the point, um, which is, I think, a sound one, that as we look to recovery from uh, COVID-19 uh, and we look to how the, the migration program will be reconstructed as part of that, one of the things we need to change uh, is the balance between permanent and temporary migrants. Still, the former New South Wales Premier Keneally might be a little less comfortable with some support she received on this program yesterday. But she's only repeating what I have been saying for years and uh, I've copped their wrath on, across the floor of Parliament when I've spoken about jobs for Australians or I've talked about immigration numbers. Yep, there's no need to check your TV. That was Pauline Hanson riding shotgun for Christina Keneally. Now, I happen not to agree with Keneally. I think immigration will continue to fuel our economic development long into the future. Many of you will agree with it. But it does need to be carefully managed, our immigration program, all the time. And we do need to be able to discuss it. This idea that any suggestion of reducing immigration or any suggestion of putting Australian jobs first should be decried as racist or xenophobic is madness. For starters, surely these people have noticed that Australians come in every colour, from every culture and with every ethnic background you could possibly muster anywhere on this planet. And it's often immigrants who most value our immigration system and making sure it works to our advantage. Still, as she gets a bit of a pasting from many on the left, it's hard to feel sorry for Keneally, isn't it? After all, she's played these games in the past, slamming coalition border policies as racist or xenophobic. Her attacks over border protection have been ugly for a long while. They've been emotive and over the top. So I guess now she's just getting a taste of her own medicine.